in 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 the hey, this in, is King Angelo. Chaser, I'm out right? here in the country club crest area. Uh, was doing a little talking to the people out here in the community about an incident that happened when an officer uh, charged a young brother. The details are not as clear, uh, but they're becoming clearer. There's a lot of information that has not been put out. There's a lot of speculation that's going on. Um, still out here making inquiries. From what I gathered, I had the privilege to see a different version of a video that has not been put to the public yet. Um, people are deciding uh, what the officer and that station, the information that they're going to put out, what do they, they said prompted the incident. There's a lot of people in the community that's curious of what type of action they're going to take. We found out the young man has been in custody. But the other version uh, of, of a clip I saw, it shows um, a different time lapse, a different angle, a different perspective. Um, and the information has not been put out, but it will be interesting to see if this perspective that we see on the video matches what has already been put out. We're going to do a follow-up, and we're going to stay on top of this. Um, within the community, they have some events that's supposed to be gathering. Um, this, come, this coming Saturday? This coming Saturday. This coming Saturday. Yeah, this coming Saturday. They, they haven't given us a time, but what we're going to do is we're going to come back out here on Saturday uh, so we can record the event. Um, did you, um, you know... The, the other thing that was interesting was that the cat that uh, that showed us the video that ain't nobody seen is um, basically it, it looked like the uh, the cop uh, beat the brother for six to seven minutes before the other video that you that that y'all have seen uh, it, it was even made right um, and what what witnesses say is that the cop chased him. Uh, through this parking lot that we in right now um, chasing through the parking lot and there was a whole crowd of people out here nobody attacked the cop nobody jumped the cop or nothing it was just the one brother he was running through the, the cop uh, uh, chased him somewhere over here um, like twice um, and the wires flew off or something like that and then they chased him across the street and uh, the video that we saw the brother runs through a crowd and the cop runs through the crowd after him. Nobody attacked the cop. Nobody did anything. And then the, the brother, he went over uh, and, and sat down on the curb that, that you guys see on the video. And the cop chased him. It basically looked like the cop was jumped, had jumped him and started beating him up um, just for the fact that he made him run. Let me say this part. From, yeah, from what I actually saw, um, the, the young man was not being confrontational. At he, all. He got away from the crowd and got into a clearing and sat down in a mild, humbled manner um, to let the cop proceed to do whatever it is he was set out to do. I think he was trying to disarm the cop from having an attitude from him where the, whatever it is that they could have talked about it instead of him being beat up. But I don't know what the, what the police mind was because he got out and he attacked the young man aggressively. There was no one around. There was not a hostile situation except for what the officer in question created. Right. We don't know the logist of what that side is, but purely from the community side, it's a story that's been going on and on and on. It is the same way every time you have these young black males and women in their community that's under siege and attack, and when it comes out in the wash, the cop was justified. But the clip that we saw, the video that we saw, we see it from a different perspective. That's right. That the young man in question, he, was, didn't put up he no was not being confrontational. He was not being violent. You know, I can see him fearing for his life, you know, and I can see a good reason why, because he got manhandled. He got really whooped real bad. I don't know what his family think, but we um, out here just trying to figure out what the community is saying in the city of Vallejo. We know it's a lot of speculation going on. Um, what else do you want to say, brother? Um, you know, I just want to say uh, stay tuned um, because, uh, like I said, we we seen an exclusive video. When that when that when that thing comes out, y'all gonna see a totally different perspective than what um, 
the uh, enforcement officials, the, pe the police, is, uh, is, is trying to portray what happened. Uh, I, I, I think that's about it for now. <laughs> I, I think the community should be thinking about solutions to let not uh, further incidents like this happen, uh, where all parties concerned about the protection of their children and their community. I think that we should have some type of uh, safety net where that the actual footage, right, can be seen from every angle, you know, and one, not just from a one side of point of view. And I think, I think the answer is that there's more footage out there that's going to be coming forth as this thing. Uh, continue to uh, be investigated. Oh yeah, that's that's what it was. Um, so I was told um, some of the witnesses said that there's a, there's a camera over there on on that building over there. Um, there's it's, it's like some kind of little break area that the police use. That there's a camera there. They also said there's two cameras right here on this store. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what those uh, perspectives are going to be. They they said that the police came and got. Uh, the footage, the, the footage of these cameras. So, you know, who knows what the hell they try to distort? But um, that's that's gonna be some more some more footage. Now, as far as the solution goes, I was thinking uh, earlier. You know, when we were discussing that, that one thing would be good is to have an actual oversight committee uh, that's that's composed of uh, of citizens, but one that actually has the power to. Um, to discipline uh, uh, police officers when they when they don't do when they when they don't act correct uh, with the people, um, you know that was one of the one of the things I, I was thinking in my mind. Can I reiterate that? Oh yeah, yeah. From what I hear, the brother saying as taxpayer that the community in question should be able to have enough of the citizens with the tax money to say and speak on different officers' behavior, and since they are flipping the purse for that guy's salary or female salary, that they should be able to. Issue out um, a request to the department should that be carried out. Like we don't like these people's behavior. Well, uh, we should have the uh, power to discipline. We should have, we should have the power to, to, to discipline. As, as taxpayer as citizens, as taxpayer citizens, we should have the power. It should be some kind of committee that's formulated that gives the citizens the uh, the authority to be able to discipline officers. That's really uh, something to consider. When when you that's know really something to when, when things ain't when the officers ain't doing correct. You know. Here's another brother right here. Um, who also was privileged to see some different footage. Yes, sir, uh, yeah. On the commentary um, uh, of, of what they said happened, what is developing an investigation, and the fact that this guy is going to need some information to get him out of jail or the community is going to have to come together so they can protect their children, that these incidents won't further continue to happen like they are across the United States of America, particularly today in the Valero area Country Club Press. What is your reaction? What is your response? What did you figure out? Have what have the people been talking to you about, brother? Well, they talk to me about what everybody else see. You know, with these police, that is basically business as usual again, man. This these this system been orchestrated and formulated to kill our people, man, and beat the shit out of our ass, man. It ain't no different from the damn plantation. It's just it's happening all over again, right on these damn streets and in every inner city street throughout America, man, and abroad though. That's just what they do us. They beat the shit out of us, man. Don't ask no damn questions. Even this dude was an ex-Marine. Even when they overseas, they don't fire upon an enemy combatant unless the enemy combatant fire on them first. But then they come over here to America and see black folks, and they don't ask no questions. Them. They don't do nothing. They, they beat the shit out of us, man. No ask no questions, no ass, 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 They just beat and shoot and kill our ass, man. That's just... We gotta just get used to what that's how it is though, man. But all that marching and all that bullshit that we, everybody always do. This is the country club press era. We out out here in the field. That that marching shit is straight fruitless, man. You can't win for no damn marching, man. They they, they they have us figured out already though, man. We doing the same shit and expecting different damn results. That shit is what, what, in, let me, insanity. Let me, let me say this. The marching, right, just like it says, march. Yeah. Would generalize a gathering. To march represents power. To, to, to bring a force. Once you, do, follow up. once you do the march, it gives you authority, right, to, to say something. And so, once you do do the march, now you have to be clear about what you march for and what it is that you want to implement, how you're going to implement it, how it's going to be beneficial to all parties concerned. Um, we have some times. We all got educated and as being part of the fabric of the United States, 
black, black males and females, they told us to participate in government, right? Yeah. They told us to pay taxes. They told us to get jobs. Well, our oh, people, our, well, no, our people advanced to that level, right? Yeah. But they didn't tell us is to write laws, proposals, and measures, right, to figure out what percentage of the tax we do and make people that we pay taxes responsible um, from the pocket. So now we have to deal with finances, city finances. Together as a community, we're going to have to show that our finances help the city run. And we need the city to run when we're all safe. And so this march also has to be followed up with um, some boycotts. Yeah. Um, the boycotts allow them to pay attention to where not your demands, but what your, what your measures or your proposals, right? Because these are instruments which govern us, our civilians. So what I'm saying, lawyer African minds, we got to be on our A-game as far as how government works and how civil works, civilities work. Not just civil rights. But how to operate in a municipal, form, how to operate in a state, as a community, as a society. Okay, even if we have to elect people into positions, we got to take charge of our community, and we have to be in cooperation with the greater community around. Because we're not here to cause friction; we're here to diminish all friction. That's why. Absolutely, right. Lord, after mine. We out here trying to figure out there's no one solution. Comment, subscribe, like, show up. We're going to follow up videos. We're going to be out here with the people. We're going to see them protesting. We're going to see them watching. We're going to see them organizing. And we're going to, go to the, we're going to go to the ballot box. We're going to put our money where our mouths is. And uh, we're going to be respectful uh, for those who want to be respectful. Um, you ain't got to be no punk either. You know, and you ain't got to be no bully forward movement, moving forward. There would be no black empowerment if there was no black unempowerment. So we have to empower ourselves, and that means we have to own some things. We have to really be out here monitoring and behaving within our community the way we want to, so nobody else can tell us how to behave. There would be no pro-black if there was no anti-black. We're not against anybody, but we are for our children, our children's children. Does that make sense? Hell yeah, it make a whole lot of damn sense, man. For real, that need to be you need to wake up to that every damn morning, man. Straight up. So for you brothers and sisters saying we're all on the road and we need to educate white folks and we need to educate folks, hey, let's start with ourselves. Our children, need, our children need a head start from us. Not from society, not from a government, not from everybody, but from us as a community. And I think if we get it together, the world will follow. That's how it's been going with hip-hop, with music, exactly. with clothes, with exactly. fashion. They use our brains to create government. They use our brains to create industries and, you know, architects and arts. Let's put our brains together and use it for our children and our children's children. That's right. Hotel. Hotel.